All right, folks, we are continuing on with our Beyond Reality 2 series, picking back up with Batania. Uh, last episode, we kind of played around with uh, some passive mana generation. Uh, we set up a pure daisy to kind of turn things into stone for us. And I showed you guys how to use mana spreaders to uh, gather day blooms and uh, move them around to different setups. Now, I did show you guys last time that there are two different types of mana pools. There is the diluted mana pool, and then there is the quote unquote normal mana pool. Now at the moment, uh, we've got two diluted. Now the diluted ones, from what I understand, they just don't hold a whole lot of mana. Um, mana, I mean, it's, it's kind of a rare resource anyway, but Eventually, over time, you're going to accumulate quite a bit of this, and you're going to want to, you're going to be able to store more of it. So we're going to go ahead and throw this in. Now, you can see right here, see where that check mark is? I'm assuming because that check mark's there, that means that I have enough mana in there to make a normal mana pool. I'm assuming that if I didn't, it would not show the red check mark, so or the green check mark. So let's go ahead and throw it in and see what happens. Bam! Well, that was quick. We have our normal mana pool. So you can see it used a little bit, but not too terribly much. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set this one up right next to it. And then we're going to go ahead and click you. And I want you going into you now. There we go. Perfect. So that should be filling into there. Now we're not going to touch this one for now. We're going to leave it right as it is. Uh, I plan on uh, sucking out of it here in a little bit. Uh, specifically for some plants, but we're going to be setting up a different setup now for uh, mana generation. Now, there's a bunch of different flowers for mana generation. Uh, if you come over here to the Lexica Botania, you can click on generating flora and you're going to see all these different types. The day bloom does. Um, it, it's obviously by daytime endoflame. The way this one works is it consumes burned things. So for instance, coal, wood, all anything that can basically burn, it will take that. Uh, entropinium is basically off of explosions. It's entropy. So if you set off an explosion near it, it will suck the man out of it. Gormarialis, that one eats things. So if you throw some food at it, it will eat the food and then give you mana. The problem with the Gormarialis is it will only eat one type at a time and produce mana. So if you give it 10 pieces of different types of food, it will eat them all, but you'll only get mana from one of them. And there's a certain time frame. So for instance, like bread, it may take like four seconds to eat carrots, may take six seconds. You wanna be very careful with how much food you throw at it. Hydroangias are very similar to the day blooms and to the nightshades. They produce passively. It eats water in a three by three radius around it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set one of those up here in just a second. That's what we're going to use. Uh, Kikimuras, they like cake. Munchdew eats the leaves off of trees. Nightshade produces passively at night. Rose Arcana eats experience points. And Thermalily is basically like the uh, hydrogenges, except it uses lava. Now, I don't know if the hydrogenges and the, the thermalilies actually consume the liquid or if they just uh, passively take it. That's what we're going to find out. That's what we're going to find out today. So, to make these things, um, I've already kind of ground up some of these flowers to make, I believe, two. I believe two. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Um, we're going to fill this water up one more time because we're going to need that. There we go. Now, normally with plant or with the stuff that we've seen so far, it just uses petals or either some of the stone or something along those lines, but it, it hasn't required us to use mana. Well, with the hydro hydrogenges, hydrogenges, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. We're going to be doing a setup very similar to this. And to do these, you're going to see it needs two mystical cyan pe uh, petals, one pink petal, and one blue petal. And then you're going to notice two slightly different different looking petals. There's the cyan mana petal and the blue mana petal. So cyan mana petal and a blue mana petal. There we go. So we're going to throw both of these into here. So you can see right there is an X. So I'm assuming that means we do. Okay, that's weird. So this one right here says we don't have enough. This one I'm assuming means we do have enough. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. 
It's almost like it's saying, yes, we do, but no, we don't. I'm a little confused now. Huh. Because I know for a fact we don't have enough with this one. For sure. Definitely. So we may just not have enough mana for these. We may have to wait a little bit. It's just very odd because if you look right here, you can see it's definitely we don't. Uh, if you click here, it's like yes, but no. The only thing I can think of is maybe because this is a diluted mana pool, it won't work. And that we need a mana pool mana pool. So let's try this real quick. Let's try this. We can let these guys uh, store up real fast. We want to suck all of the mana from the other pool, the one right here that we're not using anymore, and put it in this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the mana spreader up right here. Okay. And then we're going to set this up, and you can see it should be... Yep, it should be taking it out of this, hopefully. Yep, you can see this mana spreader is full. So let's set our wand up to binding mode. Click it, and bam. Hmm, why didn't that turn? It may be too close now that I think about it. We may need one just slightly further away. That's the only thing I can think of. Either that or, ah, that's why, function mode. Function mode. Sparing mana to items, accepting mana from items, sparring mana to items. So I'm assuming that is filling in. All right, let's try it once again. Bind mode, click, and well, I guess we have to shift click, don't we? Yeah, there we go. I can hear it just blasting away. Kind of cool, if you ask me. All right, so we're still in binding mode. Let's click this and click that. Are we out of mana now? And are you out of mana? Yes. And so all of our mana is now in this thing. Okay, perfect. So now I can break you. And then I can break you. And you can see with this thing, it doesn't look like we've got that much in there, but we actually do. It's actually quite a bit. So we're gonna come back over here, place that there, uh, bind mode, click and click. There we go. So now it will spit all of its mana into here. So let's see if we have any better luck now with this, or if it's still going to show us red. Now you can see we have the full-blown green check mark. So the only thing I can assume is the other diluted mana pool, we had the mana for it, but we didn't have the right setup for it. So let's throw that in. Bam. Now we've got that. Let's put this in here. Do we have enough? Not quite. So we don't quite have enough mana for that. Let's go ahead and sleep. I'll let the mana produce, and once we have enough, we'll move on from there. So one of the other things I found out while I was waiting on this, uh, you'll notice we have a few dozen more <laughs> of the day blooms. <laughs> uh, I thought day blooms had to be very, very close. But one of the things you'll notice is right here, if you hover over, you can see it's highlighted. Uh, it highlights the mana, the mana spreader. So even way over here, it's still contributing. So that means you can have a very large field of these day blooms and you don't have to necessarily worry about it so much. So I was, I was awfully concerned that I was gonna have to have a bunch of these mana spreaders, but turns out I really am not, I'm really not. So, uh, okay, now that we have enough, we're gonna go ahead and make one of these hydro, uh, hydro danger thingies, even though we technically don't need one now. Uh, did it not? Give me my blue petal. Okay, so there's the cyan metal petal. It just ate my, what the heck? It ate my stuff and it didn't give me my blue petal. I'm very upset now. I'm very, very upset now. <laughs> I wanted a special, I wanted a special damn blue water drinking plant, damn it. Oh well, uh, I guess either that's about, because I mean, it told me. I mean, look, right there, you can see. It says yes. When it's clearly, oh, okay, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. Maybe it's a, a, a GUI bug and I just missed it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, so for the Hydro Changes, and I'm probably screwing up that name. I know some of you guys will be just livid over that. I do apologize. All right, so we need two Scions. So let's go ahead and clear our hotbar off so I can I can dump all the ones that we need in correctly. Oh, I also set up a uh, an infinite water source right here because it, it's just a little bit easier than walking all over there. Okay, so we need two science. So boom, boom. 
after that, we need a mystical pink. So we need one of those. We need uh, one blue petal, which we have. And then we need the blue mana and then the blue there. Okay, and we have our seed. All right, so this is this is going to be a very, very busy little apothecary here. Holy crap. There's a lot of little petals floating in there. Bam! Now we have our Hydrojangias, or, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so to test this one, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful. We're going to need a shovel. Um, with this one, it only sucks water at the same height as it. So you can't have uh, the water being located below because then it's just not going to work, uh, which does make for a rather interesting little uh, get up. So what we're going to do, grab a bucket of water, and then we're going to step out here. Now, I do believe it can pull from a three by three area around it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up over here in the corner. Go ahead and dig all of these out. Now, keep in mind, this is just a different form of passive generation. Uh, if you don't want to use this one, you can use day blooms. I don't know if the water ones, and the OCD me is going to die if I don't get this clear. I don't know if the, the water ones have a better ratio. Uh, I didn't realize that I could use the day blooms the way that we've, we've got them set up now. So I'm only going to set this one up for demonstration sake, and then we're just going to ditch it. So, all right, we're going to put our hydro hydrodrangia right there, and then we're going to need to kind of pin this in so we don't you know, kill the rest of our plants. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. Uh, and we need we need infinite water supplies. So we're going to set it up like that. Now, if we hold the cursor over this, it should... Yep, you can see it's highlighted. So now all I got to do is get enough water in here. Now I'm hoping I can get water quick enough before it starts sucking, but I, I may not be able to pull that off. Let's jump down here real quick. We may have to actually make two buckets, which I would really rather not do because buckets on Greg Tech are pure black nasty evil. I don't know if you guys have ever used buckets in Greg Tech, but it is not the most friendliest of mods. All right, so we put it in there, and now we have an infinite water source. Infinite water source. So if we hold our cursor over this, you can kind of see, just kind of spamming it to see if it's taking any at all. Yep, see how it's just slurping right there? You can hear it slurping. Well, you could hear it slurping. It has since stopped slurping for some reason. I guess it only slurps periodically. One, two, yeah, so it just gets a little thirsty here and there. So you can see we are earning mana at a much higher rate. Now, obviously, we've kicked this thing up. This thing supposedly can hold 100x what the normal one holds, but you hear that swoosh? That's the mana bursts coming through. So we're getting a lot more mana bursts than we did previously, and you can actually kind of, if we just spam it, you can actually see the mana coming in. So we're producing quite a bit of mana. Now, I had planned for today for us to get into mana steel, which is right here. I planned on us to get into uh, producing this stuff, but Greg Tech has made a tweak to this. Now, from what I understand, prior to this, iron was what you used to make mana steel. Unfortunately, Greg Tech's an asshole. And so he's decided that we need either steel or refined iron. There we go. So steel is going to require a blast furnace and refined iron requires a uh, the same thing. So all of these are going to be well beyond our current setup. Now steel is something that we are going to be able to make uh, fairly soon. Uh, let's see, where is steel? Steel, 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 steel. Yeah, steel ingots, we will be able to make these pretty quickly uh, with our bronze blast furnace. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I've got a lot of copper that we got to grind up and then we can get uh, we can get started with that. So we're probably not going to be able to get into that until next uh, next episode, maybe the episode after that. So what we'll probably end up doing is put Batania on hold for a couple episodes and then we'll kick back to it here. Um, I don't know, in two or three episodes once we get our blast furnace up. So what I'm probably going to do from here is we're going to expand our day blooms because they're very easy to use. They're very easy to set up. Um, we're going to get all those rolling. I'm probably going to get rid of the hydrogenges because uh, the water's just annoying. 
it's just going to be problematic. But uh, with, with day blooms, we can just fill the whole field up. I'm going to see how far they can actually spread. And uh, the flowers, like I said, are pretty easy to find. So we're just going to just gonna make a shit ton of flowers and get rolling with that. So anyways, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.